Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So today I am bringing you a bit of a homeware haul. I headed over to The Range today. If you've not been to The Range, they also have a website as well if you don't have a local one. Um, and I just picked up loads of homeware bits. So this is predominantly for this table here in the dining room because we're trying to get this area kind of a bit more complete. It felt really incomplete for ages there because we had ejector seat chairs on loan that were just awful. And um, we've now got our new chairs, so I'll show you these in a second. Um, but what I wanted to do was get some accessories to kind of dress this table to feel like it's kind of tying everything in together. And then also in our hallway, we have the mirrored console table that really needs a clean actually first and um, I wanted to do a kind of arrangement on there so I've had a look on Pinterest for like arrangement ideas for how to place things which is really good for inspiration and yeah I've just went and seen some really nice bits and pieces I've got my receipt with me so I'll show you what I got and then how much it came to but my total bill for all of this stuff was £150 which I don't think is bad when you then see what I got so the first thing I went looking for was a light because we have this new socket put in by our friend Andy in the hallway. So we really needed to get a light put in there and I seen one online, or sorry Fraser seen one online from the White Company and it's a beautiful bottle shaped light and it was just such a lovely shape, I really liked it but it was £100 and I just knew if I went to the range I would get more for my money so that is why I went there and of course I spent £50 more but I did get other things that I was looking for. This is the table lamp that I went for, it's lovely, it's obviously this kind of circular shape and then this is like a hand etched sort of like design on it so it feels quite rough which I really like, it's a sort of pewter colour so in between a sort of silvery and a darker sort of like brushed chrome sort of idea. So that is the colour I really liked. So I think that'll look nice on the table because it's obviously mirrored. And then we've got a really nice bright white um, lampshade. Now the reason why I went for this is because a lot of the lights that I was looking for were circular. But as you'll see, this one's very thin. And with it being a console table, I thought it'd be better to put something slim on it rather than a circular shape, as in like a round bottle shape just so that I can put more accessories on it and have more room on like the slim table itself. So I've just checked my receipt. This was only £19.99, which I think is really good value for a lampshade. It's actually kind of like pearlescent as well. You can't really see because it's got the um, sheet on it. But yeah, I really like this. It's got a white wire and I think this will look really nice on the table. I'll show you all styled together at the end as well. And then seen this really cute little clock. I don't know, I just really like clocks and wall clocks and I thought this would be a nice alternative for in the hallway. Although we all use our phones, don't we? <laughs> it's really just for decoration. I love the Roman numerals. I've got one up there on that wall behind me, or in front of me rather, that is Roman numerals as well. I just think it looks really great rather than having numbers. Um, and I love the actual hands of this. How lovely are they? They're quite ornate. And this came in a lovely box as well. Now, as you'll see, it's got a stand. So when it sits, it sits slightly backwards, which I think looks really good. But this was only 5 99 I think that was really good value. I think if something like this was in next, you'd be looking at about £15. So to get it for 5 99 it was really quite a bargain actually. So that will just go next to the light. Again, I'll show you it's styled at the end. Now, this is so heavy. Like, honestly, it's actually... It's so heavy. This is an ornamental artichoke. Now, you'll probably have seen loads of these because they seem to be very on trend, but I just love the shape of these. I think they're such a nice little decorative part to have in your house. But I do actually think this might be for outside. It's so heavy. Um, but yeah, I really love the grey colour. It's like a nice warm grey actually, and um, more of a kind of like clay colour, which is exactly what I was looking for. Just another little bit to have on that table just to make it look a bit more dynamic, is that the word? Just so that we've got kind of like a different flow of heights. So yeah, I really like this and it was only 5 99 So this would look really good with two together. I know that Lydia Millen actually has two together dressed on a floating shelf. You couldn't put this in a floating shelf though, let me tell you. So, so heavy. I'm aware that I just kind of snorted there. I also picked up this little find. Now, this was the only one left and it is damaged, but the way that I'm going to have it sitting, I'm hoping that you won't actually see it. We've got a wee crack there and then a crack at the back. But I got it anyway because I really wanted to have this colour. And I also thought that the chances of me finding something like this somewhere else were very slim. So it was only £3. I really couldn't complain too much. And what I liked it for is I think it'll be quite nice to complement next to the artichoke. Just because it's like a similar sort of shape. So this colour is great as well. It's sort of like a putty kind of colour which is just lovely. It's that kind of neutral taupe that I always look for in homeware. I just think it's a nice alternative to just straight grey 
or like a cream colour. So yeah, I really like this one. Um, and as I say, it was only 3 99 and they did give me money off it actually, but it makes it non-returnable. So yeah, I ended up getting it for £3. Now I absolutely love the range for, well that was loud, I love the range for vases. So this one here is actually the same as the one you can see behind me. This was only $7.99, so again, a really good find, but they actually had these the last time that I was in, and I didn't get it, and there's been a few times recently where I've been thinking, I wish I had that vase for even just putting in like real flowers. But yeah, it's lovely, it's nice and slim, it's like a marble effect, but not like tacky marble, it's just like a nice sort of like light marble effect. Um, and I think that looks really good. Now, I don't know whether to have these sitting together, just like a tall one and a small one with some things in it, or whether to keep this one on the dining table. I'm unsure as yet, but at the moment, I'll probably keep that one on the dining table. Whoa. <laughs> and this one in the hallway console table alongside the other bits I've just shown you. So I did get some flowers to put in this, which I'll need to obviously organize better. These are the flowers that I got for going inside it. They're just some artificial roses. These were $4.99, but there's quite a bunch of them there, so obviously they're all in one stem as well, which is really good for arranging them, because it just means you just have to kind of bend the tops of them to suit the shape. So you can just do this, also take the tag off, and then just kind of arrange it how you want. So you can just kind of like bend the heads down and stuff, just to kind of give it a better shape. So for the two of them there, that was $7.99 for the vase. Five pounds for the roses and that looks great and it's obviously really good value as well this is the larger vase i already had these artificial flowers these were actually from poundland believe it or not um but yeah i've just sat this in the middle of the table just now but i do have flowers for going in this so these are the flowers i'm planning putting in it because i'm planning to have a kind of black or like dark brown and cream theme in this room so in between the kitchen diner i just think it's a nice warm feeling to have those kind of colors together i just think it looks really nice and modern as well it's still kind of like a monochrome effect but a bit of a kind of softer feel so i've got lots of these actually maybe too many but i thought it was better to have too much than not enough um, and plus i would probably have them in different parts of the house anyway i've got six of these and they were two pounds each they're calling it a milk head. I'm not sure what that means, but I really loved the flower on these. Quite jaggy and different, but I really did like them. So the stem of them, instead of being a green shade, they're dark, which I thought would tie in really well, especially with the chair that you see behind me there, that colour with the black. I just think that ties all these colours in really well. So the only thing I'm thinking is I might have to use a smaller vase to put these in because they're so tall themselves to put them in that big marble one is not going to really make any sense. So I'll have to get a different vase to pop these in, but I do really like them. And I think once they're in something a bit smaller, maybe a bit rounder, it will definitely give a nice sort of like dimension into this space. And because I love artificial flowers, I got these ones for 10 pounds. They're already like an arranged bouquet. So we've got greys, pinks, kind of like an ivory color, and then like a really soft green in there. I thought these would be great for the vase that I've got in the living room. So I've already got flowers in there just now, like real ones, but for whenever I need to have a ready-made bouquet, then take that off. These can just get popped inside. So I'm planning on chopping these down or like just simply like bending them and then putting them inside of the living room vase. I was on a quest for nice hurricane vases like this, but ones on like a little pedestal like that. I ended up buying two of them because I thought they would look nice on my dining table. Because the dining table is so long, it's about two metres long, I think. Um, I thought this would be nice to have one of these each side and then a flower arrangement in the middle. So I've got a candle in here, which I'm not really loving, I'll be honest. In real life, it looks very, very yellow, um, like a proper vanilla candle. I would have preferred to get ones in this colour, but I'll probably be home them somewhere else, like maybe in the bathroom or whatever. But um, yeah, I think the white inside here would look much better, but obviously a bigger candle. The reason why I've got the other ones is because they've got the realistic, like, battery operated flame. I just wish I'd got them in a white colour, but they never seemed to have any. It was only that shade. And at the point when I was picking these up, Charlie was just having none of it. He was just like, get me home. He was really upset. But I actually ended up meeting one of you guys and I totally forgot to ask you your name. So if you're watching this just now, then it was so lovely chatting to you. But um, I never got your name. I just got your wee girl's name, which was Aria Rose. And Ella remembered that. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me see just now. These were $12.99 each, which I just think is really good value again. They've got like a silver trim in the top. And then obviously the whole part here is like together and um, but yeah I think they look really good styles on the table I just wish that I got 
a different colour of candle. But if you want to know what the candles were, candles, candles, candles. The LED candles were £4 each. You just put a battery in the bottom of them and then they flicker. But I'll probably just have to like rehome them somewhere else just because, I, as I said, I don't like the colour of them. Unless you guys have any other ideas, could I maybe spray them or something? Like, I'm not sure what you can do with that. And not that I had a particular reason to buy these, but... I just couldn't resist them. It's a little pear and an apple um, and it's also got like brown or like dark black almost stalks on them. I just think again it would tie in really nicely in here. They were only 2 99 each which is a bit of a bargain to be fair and yeah I just think in some other kind of shops we'd pay so much more money for little bits like that. But yeah I'm not sure where I'm going to put them. Maybe I don't want to make it feel too structured and I feel like they do belong together so to split them up would be unfair. I don't really know where to put them yet. I've not decided. I've not got a home for them yet, but we shall find one. And then last but not least, I got some Zoflora. This is only a pound, of course, because most of them are now, especially this size. Um, and this is the Country Garden one. I don't know why I took it out of the box, because they all look the same. <laughs> but yeah, um, Country Garden Zoflora is like my kind of go-to at the moment. I love that one. And also Summer Breeze, I think, as well, the kind of pink one. But yeah, I like to put this in my spray mob and I've not got any left. So yeah, picked up a new one of those. So everyone, that is the end of my haul. I'm now going to go and put these, going to, going to, going to go. I'm now going to go and put these on the places that I want to dress them. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so just excuse my whispering because Charlie's sleeping and the noise outside because the men are working but this is what I've done out here on the little console table so that's obviously all the items that I've just shown you um, I have tried to bend these out a little bit probably will be fixing them a bit more as I notice they're not sitting properly like that it's probably a bit better but yeah I just think that looks really really nice no doubt Fraser's going to say there's too much on the table because <laughs> he prefers more simplistic things but I just love the way that the little clock looks next to that light and then the colour of that light lampshade looks lovely when the light is on which is really important because sometimes I find if I go for a lampshade that's that colour and then get a light and put it in it, it looks too yellow or too orange so I think by having a white lampshade and then a yellow light underneath it it's so much better so yeah that's what it looks like with the light off and that's what it looks like with the light on. And here is the dining room setup. So those flowers are just perfect for in here. Like the colours are so spot on for what I was looking for. Because of course I want to try and tie in the blacks with the taupe. And then what we're planning on doing at the back here is having like a black button back dining booth. Kind of like what you would get in a restaurant. Right up against the wall we're going to remove that radiator and get it capped. Um, and then instead of having two radiators, we're going to make this a long one. So that will eventually be like a free kind of standing one. Not free standing, a vertical one. <laughs> Not free standing. It'll be a vertical modern one. Um, and then at the back here, we're going to have a black dining booth to match in with the black chairs. And then a kind of nice neutral coloured wallpaper. But I'll show you that kind of stuff at a later date, just a kind of like mood board if you like. But the chairs that I've got here are from myfurniture.com. They actually match in perfectly with our bar stools, which are currently covered in stuff. But um, yeah, it's these ones are, I think it's the Margonia chairs. And I'll leave them linked in the description box so you guys can see them, but they're just such fantastic chairs. I didn't know what they would be like quality wise because they're not majorly expensive. But since we have these and they're used constantly, I knew that these would be really good quality as well. So yeah, these ones are the Margonia style. So as you'll see, they're different from the other two. So these ones are the button back ones with just a straight middle part. This is just a flat velvet and straight in the middle. And then these ones at the sides are button backed chairs. like, And then just a plain knocker back on them. But yeah, I've styled this just kind of like quite symmetrically. But I think it looks good. So guys, I really do hope you've enjoyed watching this haul and style with me. Please let me know that you do like it by giving this video a thumbs up and I'll know to make more. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!